The wait is over and the contract has finally been signed. We're just minutes away from witnessing his debut. How will he fare? And if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the Palace 11. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Hakim Ziyech plays with Raheem Sterling out wide and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Enzo Fernandez. And Sterling has it. Not high quality defending. Are you? Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And intercepts again. Now Chelsea showing good width. Oh, and the decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. This to open the scoring here. And confidently converted. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Are you? Are you? And with that, the attack fizzles out. And a scoring update for you from Craven Cottage. Here's Alex. They've scored the opener here with only eight minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, a classic example of how to intercept.
Kai Havertz. Back to Sterling. Pressing high to win the ball. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Just can't get it past the wall. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. And the short option preferred. Ziyech. Well, it wasn't a productive cross. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Havertz! And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Are you? Could play it in. Must be! And that's a very good parry. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Now, this could really lift spirits. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Fernandez, Kukureya, and space to exploit maybe, Sterling, determined block, Ayu, and now passing it through, Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Three goals without reply. Given away by Chelsea. Intelligent threaded pass here. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Good work to win the ball back. Oh, majestic finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent! Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Chelsea and we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. 
And Palace could get in behind the defence. Played into the centre. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Ziyech. Read it superbly to take back possession. Happy birthday to the coolest football player, Bodie Jeffries. Happy Wesley Fofana. Kukureya. Havertz. And Sterling has it. Attending to his defensive chores. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, that'll be a free kick. And that was a very fine read. Sterling. Kukureya. Real chance. And the keeper more than equal to it. He's driven in the corner. And the header off target, but resolute defence. Jairo Riedewald. Chelsea recovering possession well. Ziyech. Cross fired over. Well, nothing comes of it. He's found a pocket of space. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Now sending it in. And it still could be dangerous. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Thiago Silva. Nicely cut out. Cairo Riedewald. And what can they do to stop him running at them? In by Sterling. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Jairo Riedewald. Lokonga. Ducouré. Read it well. Out of play then. And a Palace throw in forthcoming. Ducouré. A oh, tremendous vision. Jairo Riedewald. Lost possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Habits.
Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Ziesch. James. On to Mount. Havertz. Surely. Really important tackle. And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at Selhurst Park. Well, a really dominant performance so far from Kai Havertz. Not that that comes as a huge surprise. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Zaha. That's a nice looking ball. And ready to strike. And power over subtlety. He's hit the woodwork. Well, he made decent contact with it, but he has to score from that range. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the pitch. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Enzo Fernandez. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ducouré. And a good-looking ball. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? High-class defending right on the goal line. There's been plenty of chatter about this on social media, and it's easy to understand why. David De Gea has completed his move to Spurs. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. And strong play here. And Chelsea winning the ball again. Havertz. Odson Edouard. Zaha. Can he make it count? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. So the corner played into the box, attending to his defensive chores. Superb block. That's a foul, and it will be a...
Potentially dangerous free kick. Well, they have been getting three substitutes warmed up. And by the look of it, all three are coming on. Just made sure nothing came of that. And a good take under duress there. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace facing Aston Villa. So a half an hour remaining. And room now out on the wing. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, let's join Alex Scott for an update. I believe, Alex, a goal at Craven Cottage. Yep, second one for Fulham. It's all level again at 2-2 with 63 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Is it going to be an opportunity? Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Oh, he's given us away. Ziyech. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Chelsea taking on Leicester City. Nicely timed tackle. Odson Edouard. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But quick thinking defensively. Mount. Can he do it? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of their performance. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Armando Broya. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Given away by Pulisic. Armando Broya. Jairo Riedewald. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. And he's in. And the post denied him. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. And the referee has shown him a second yellow card. That will be it for him. Well, his manager will be absolutely furious. He had to be more careful there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Fifteen minutes left for play. Mount. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. 
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ziyech. A really intense pressure applied. Lokonga. Jairo Riedewald. They've regained possession. Broya. Given away again. Now options are plenty. Is it going to be Pulisic? Well, it was close to the target, but close isn't good enough, really. Time for a change then. Jairo Riedewald there to win it back Sheikh Dukure now counter-attacking possibilities here well it petered out And that's an important intervention. Mount. And using his body to good effect. Zakaria. A gift for any goalkeeper. No mistake by the keeper. Able to skip past his man. Under no real pressure. He has thinking time. Oh, good save. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Thiago Silva. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Can they get in behind them? Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong. Trying to pass it into the corner. Opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. To be replaced by 21, Ben Chilwell. Armando Broya. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Pulisic. Determined defending. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Mopping up defensively. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.